Hi guys, my name is Chris and in this video we're going to be looking at developing apps for the Pebble smartwatch using JavaScript. So if you go to this page getpebble.com um, you'll be taken uh, to this page and you'll see that there's a developers link right at the top. If you click on that you will be taken to developer.getpebble.com. Now when I did this the first time um, the most immediate you know instinct for me was to click on this install pebble SDK but in this in this case we're just gonna um, use JavaScript and um, and use a JavaScript library called simply JS which is a, a much easier way of, of testing the waters or just trying out uh, development for Bevel smartwatch using JavaScript so instead of clicking here you, you just scroll down a bit and you'll find there's a um, section called getting started with the pebble SDK use cloud pebble and if you click here it's gonna take you to this page called cloudpebble.net and this is sort of a browser based IDE for developing um, pebble smartwatch apps using JavaScript so if you don't have uh, a lot uh, an account with pebble you can simply sign up uh, from this account uh, from this page and then it's gonna take you to um, this project's page right here. Now what we're gonna do is a simple hello world. We're just gonna create a project. We'll just hello there. Let's, let's call it hello there. And most important part of this uh, demonstration is uh, to choose simply.js. So we'll, we'll take a look at what that is in a bit, but just create that project first. Um, once you create that, um, you'll be taken to this page where you could modify edit um, the JS files that was created so I'm gonna click on app.js right here and you know if you're familiar with JavaScript you're gonna see it's it's or even Node.js you're gonna see it's it's a really simple script which lets you um, handle events on the smartwatch so I happen to have a smartwatch right here what we're gonna do is is just run this right off the bat um, without even doing it, anything if if you encounter an error, um, it is most likely the compilation settings um, for for your project, which is um, the IP address of your phone, because you need um, your phone to be communicating with your smartwatch when you do this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, go back to the app.js uh, and click on play. And also another important thing while this is compiling, you need to set your uh, Pebble app in your phone um, to to have uh, or, or to turn on the developer mode. So that is also something that you need to do. So here we, we got that same error that I got the first time. You need to specify your phone's IP. Um, so we're gonna dismiss that and go back to the compilation settings. And you can see here um, we're being asked to click on or, or provide our phone IP you can find that using um, the Pebble app on your phone so I happen to have a an Android phone and just click on on developer and you're gonna find the IP that you can plug in in this um, field right here so mine was uh, is number one one nine two one six eight dot one dot seventy two so let's try that again install and run and it would immediately um, install to our phone if everything um, was set perfect or, or perfect. So here we go. So I, I have here the sim. It's called the Simply Demo app. Um, I'm just gonna dismiss this. But what it does is if I click on any of the buttons here, it's just gonna react. So let's go back to the source code right here. If you look here. Um, you'll see let's look at one of the um, uh, snippets of code right here if you single click you know say press uh, which button was pressed if you long click um, you know show this uh, or I think this is a uh, vibrate um, and you know even the ac accelerometer is being checked um, in this hello world demo so it's really cool now if you want to you know do something which is most probably every developer would do with a Pebble smartwatch which which is to get the location current location of that person wearing the smartwatch um, 
so let, let's do that right now so look, go to simply um, js.io this is a really you know clean page showing you how to use the library and we're gonna scroll down and look at that section where we can get the current position so this code snippet right here the cool thing about this is since this is JavaScript it's gonna show you how it's gonna look like uh, on your Pebble smartwatch when you click on this uh, section right here I'm, I'm not even gonna try to understand what this does I'm just gonna dump it down here um, right after everything here <laughs> and then just click on run again and um, it should install that app again with the updated code where um, it's going to show the uh, location and the weather for where we are right now. So there, um, it installed perf uh, successfully and after a few seconds after calling that Yahoo Weather um, API I think, um, it, it, it updated the screen with you know, my current location and my the, the current weather. So it is kind of cool that I didn't need to install anything. Everything is you know running from the browser, um, and obviously my phone needs to be there. Um, and you know when when I finished this, I was kind of really excited about you know developing for a Pebble smartwatch because you know it is really cool that I get to do this without much you know complexity and installation you know hoopla. Um, so with that. Um, Hopefully uh, that was useful. Um, looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.